All right, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the front brake pads and rotors on a 2004 Toyota Matrix, very simple. This will be similar to the other Matrix. Um, you're gonna be needing a 21 millimeter, obviously a jack, jack stand, uh, 14, or I think is it 12? No, 14, 17, and then uh, maybe a hammer to knock off the rotor and, and um, a brake caliper compressed tool. Um, but if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And we're going to go ahead and start this video right after the intro. First things first, make sure you put a wheel chuck or use your emergency brake. Um, if your emergency brake works really well, then that would use that. But still, always as a precaution, always use a chuck on the back to keep your car either from rolling forward or backward. So depending on the angle, so we're going to be going, our hill is kind of slanted, so we're going to put the wheel on the back. So I would recommend to do it on both sides just in case. Jacking up points. Um, don't worry, I will be putting my jack stand right here pretty shortly. So right here, there's a little tow hook, and you would lift it up from the little notch that's right there and so forth so where you're going to put your jack stand is going to be on the where the steering the lower control arm is bolted you see that little cross beam right there so you're going to put your jack stand right on this guy so on that whole beam you can put it right there you could also put it on your subframe too you can also lift it up from up there too as well but i'm not doing that all right, so here's the caliper. So we got two 14 millimeter bolts that we need to take off. So there's one right here and one right there. And then we're just gonna pull back our caliper just like that. Now I'm just gonna be setting it right here on the tie rod just for right now. So as you can see, setting it right there laying it up there now um, we are going to be taking off the 17 millimeter that's holding the bracket so right here we have one right here and then there's one right up here got this little guide pin in the way so this bolt right there so we're going to take off both of those And then once we remove that bolt, this guy should just drop right down. And then let's say if your rotor is, is still stuck on there, like it doesn't want to come off, you'll just get your hammer and tap right here. But if you're going to get this resurfaced, try to make sure you hit it flat. And if you're going to be using a hammer, I would recommend to use at least a two to three pound hammer just so you can get a good whack. A little house hammer, I mean, really not going to do too much. I mean, it might do it, but just with a lot of effort. All right. Go ahead and blow off your area. If you need to, you might need to re clean up this area and all that. So if there's too much surface rust, whatever. But we are good. So this is more like rust dust. All right. So at this point, we are going to go ahead and compress our caliper. Um, go ahead and inspect it. Obviously, we have a little tear right there. <clears throat> customer is on a huge budget so they're only able to do so much um we're only going to be able to just knock out that and then they'll come back for a later time to, to knock out the rest as you can see the boots were at the back there all right so you can either do this with some pliers let's see if i'm able to um or some c clamps or you can use some butterfly spread tools this one is it's kind of on there pretty tight <clears throat> So sometimes if they're stuck on there, you might need to pop open the bleeder screw that's in the back. I'd recommend using like a hose so you don't get air back in the system. But I'm just going to go ahead and use the special tool that I have for this job. Um, if you don't have the tool, you can go to AutoZone. They'll rent you out the tool for um, like a $60. And then that's just as a little small deposit and you'll get that money back. So yeah, this works. All 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and remove our old pads and so forth. Just pull these guys right out. And then I'm gonna remove my hardware kit from here, our old one. You don't have to, but I got a new hardware kit. So when installing this new hardware kit, make sure because obviously the the inner side is obviously um, fatter than the outer side. So we need to make sure that we are fully seated more over here than over there. Um, so because I'm not, or we, we'll start off with this side first and then do that just because it'll overlap it and then it'll hit the rotor. So again, if we start it just like this, you see how we can, we have a lot of meat right there as versus like the other one. So let me go ahead and seat this right. I wanna see in the inner one. So now you see it, it's not gonna be rubbing against the rotor. So I just wanna make sure you guys see that. All right, so now we need to go ahead and lubricate our guide pins. These are already spinning freely. They're not stuck on there, um, but still we just wanna go ahead and lubricate them with some brake grease and so forth. So go ahead and insert this in. We might build a little air pocket. If you do build a little air pocket, just go ahead and push down and then pull back the boot a little bit. And then that's how all the air pocket will get released. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and install our new rotor. So just like this, I'm gonna spray some brake cleaner on my rag. We're just gonna put a little light coat. And then we're gonna wipe off the special coating that came on the rotor. So now we'll go ahead and put in our new rotor. And then we'll put in our brake caliper and then we'll go ahead and put back on the caliper bolts. All right, so now that we got that on there, we're gonna be putting on our brake pads, um, but we need to put our wear indicator with our kit came with one. Um, so we're just gonna put it on the inner side. So here's the wear indicator. So we're just literally gonna slide that just like this. So we have a little indentation on the brake pad, as you can see, and we'll just slide it on just like that. Make sure it's on there fully seated. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and lubricate our pad itself. So we're just going to put a thin coat of brake grease on the pad. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and insert it. So the one, the reason why I put it on this side, on the top side, because the way how the rotor is spinning always at the same uh, when you're going forward is counterclockwise. So our wear indicator needs to be up here because that part will be the one that's going to wear out the fastest. So this will give us a little small idea. Be like, hey, you know what? We were making we're getting some squeaky sounds. So before we get some metal metal that, you know, we'll at least get a little um, gr small grinding noise from this and we don't hit that metal to metal. So at least it'll give us a little time to replace the pads. So again, we just insert our pads just like that, starting from the bottom, and then kind of wiggle it right in there and just wiggle it right in. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Now, I have an issue right here. I just noticed this when I was doing this right now. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the top one just caught, like caved in. So, what you're gonna have to do, this guy right here is touching the rotor. That little inner piece, focus, focus. I don't know if you can see that. So that's barely touching the rotor. So I know we're gonna have an issue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spread this right out just because this just moved when we all right, so now we got that flattened out. So now we have our gap where it should be. And then we'll check the other side 
same thing obviously the bottom didn't bend it was just only the top so that's a great little instruction or example what happens all right so now we're gonna go ahead and put in our caliper now when putting in your caliper you need to be very very cautious of this that it's all flat so just this guy right here so this needs to be fully seated on the caliper and not like, um, let me get this at an angle. So you gotta make sure it's not like that cause you're gonna bend this tab and then it'll loosen up later on. So you need to make sure that they're like that. So both sides, the same thing like at the top. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put on our wheel. So what I like to do is I like to snug in the bottom first and then go ahead and snug up the top. So we will, what we want to do is we want to center the, the rim. So we're going to go ahead and tighten down the bolts and the star pattern. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and five. So we're going to go ahead and go in the vehicle. We're going to go ahead and start the car. And then we're going to go ahead and pump up the brake pedal. So you're just gonna keep pumping it till it gets hard. Once it gets hard, then you're all said and done. Um, if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions and hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And thanks for watching.